Before we get started on today's episode, we want to thank our sponsors. Vegamore, HelloFresh, and BetterHelp. You'll hear more about them throughout the episode. Hi, I'm Melissa. And I'm Mel. Girl, let me tell you, I only had maybe a little less than half of that drink. When you're drinking, you just got to drink more. <laughs> I am a strongly worded email. Actually, that feels in line, though. That is not that true. Is, no, listen, and every now and again, when somebody get out of line, you just yell, pop the truck. <laughs> I'm the juice to her gin. Did we hit record? Is it working? Is it on? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Gin Juice Podcast. My name is Melissa. And my name is Mel. And we are Real Life Sisters. We get on your podcast uh, feed or online, wherever you watch us or listen. Uh, every single week we can talk about what the heck we want to talk about because that's what we do, okay? That's that's what we do. That's what we did. And so uh, I will say this, though. This will be our last episode for the summer. So we won't be back until the week of August 5th. I just looked it up. Let me make sure I'm not lying. Yeah, the oh, week of yes. August 5th. So we basically take off the normally we take off the entire month of July, um, but we're starting a week early because the twentieth, my twentieth wedding uh, anniversary, vow renewal, vow, yes. all the things is happening next week, and so we ended up doing a week earlier. Um, and Mel is stressed about that. Is that one be your long story yes. short? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. I. I don't I'm I'm tired. I'm stressed. It's your wedding and I'm stressed. Why? Yeah. Why is that the case? <laughs> I What are you stressed about though? I don't have anything to wear to your wedding. You don't you don't have your dress yet? No. No, I don't. And I searched the mall and I searched the sites and I've ordered everything and returned them all. <laughs> I went this morning to the post office to the US, I mean to UPS, to all the places so I can return stuff because I don't have anything to wear. I was all day at the mall yesterday. All day at the mall on what's the yesterday? Saturday, Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday. I also went on Saturday. Nothing. I have to go back to these malls because I have to return stuff. I have nothing. I have nothing. Where have you nothing. shopped? You, have you tried Absolutely. ASOS? Yes. What did you get though? Because ASOS, I saw a couple items on ASOS that I could have sent to folks. You know what the problem is? The problem is. You ever become aware of something and now that's all you can think about? Yes. That's what happened. Oh. Uh. I tried something on and didn't like how my body looked in it. Oh. Uh. So now all I can focus on is how my body looks in these things and I don't like it. Uh. And so therefore nothing Got looks it. good to me. And now I'm just upset and I want to wear a muumu. <laughs> I'm looking for a cute muumu. So if any of you know of any pink muumus or purple, I'll look like Barney. It's fine. <laughs> if anyone is aware, please send me the link because I don't know what to wear. I don't like anything. I'm stressed out. I'm, I hope the problem is I'm going to get my hair done. I'm getting braids. I decided I'm going to get my hair That's done smart. at some point this week and I'm going to get my lashes done. And I'm hoping yeah, yeah, that yeah. by the That'll time that the... happens, yeah. I'll feel better. However, that's on Thursday, Friday. We leave on, on when we leave Saturday. Saturday. So that's too late to buy something at that point. Yeah. So I'm just going to bring six options. And that's smart, though. If they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. It's your fault because you made a video. You made a video. And let me tell you, in particular, <laughs> in particular, this is when this is where you caught me up. You said on one of the dresses. That looks too flimsy. That looks too baggy. <laughs> and flimsy and black baggy is what I'm going for. <laughs> that's what I'm going for. So now I'm like, OK. So now what's going to happen? I didn't like is... the sleeves on that dress. Yeah, but you you stressed me out. <laughs> and now I have nothing to wear to your wedding. So my kids are cute. I have their stuff. I bought all of their stuff. Greg has a nice suit. Everybody's fine. I am not fine. That's I usually am... how it works, though. And and everyone knows before vacation you have a gazillion things to do oh, when you're man. a woman. Okay? Oh. You have hair. You have lashes. You have shoes and you have every single thing that you have to buy okay that you typically buy in the span of like your lifetime you have to now do it in the span of like two days seriously and you have to find a way to pack it all in the suitcase for your trip so i'm just annoyed <laughs> on top of there's like a gazillion things happening. There's YSL is going crazy. Karen Reed is going crazy. Still today? Yes. We have to do debriefs and recaps and dresses. And there's so much going on. <laughs> Somebody do something. Do something. 
something, John. Someone do something. I just. I'm sorry, sister. It's not your fault. Well, kind of it is. <laughs> kind of it is. You're popped the truck. I'm popping it on you. <laughs> but your dress looks beautiful. You're going to look amazing. I'm you're the bride so and you're the one who matters. Oh, I Actually, man. it doesn't matter for me. Nobody's going to pay attention to what I look like. But so it, it does because I want everyone to look amazing. That's the only reason why I'm asking everybody to look amazing is because I do want everybody to look amazing. <sighs> well, add to the pressure, Melissa. I'm sorry. I want you to look amazing. I, I just do. told you I don't think I look amazing. I know. I'm sorry. But and I, I don't really, have a dress. I really want everybody. Did you go on Revolve? Yes. Revolve can do next day shipping, too. Yeah, I get one tomorrow. Because okay, I'm still searching for something to wear. <laughs> It's coming tomorrow. Another option. I hope it works out for you. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. I'm sorry. I really didn't. This is what's so funny. And I told Mel about this and she told me I did it wrong. And I actually did? concur. When I initially was doing that video, the idea, J Lux label is a good one too. To search them too. Okay. I'm giving you all the places Name I would go. Name one and tell me House I didn't search CB. it. Searched it. And you said ASOS? Searched it. Dang. Ordered I, two things off in ASOS? multiple sizes. I just saw something. Meshki. Meshki's a good one. I don't know if that's the I I don't know if I searched that one. Meshki's a good one. Thank you for who said Meshki's. I don't Lulu's know. Lulu's is that good. One. Um, I searched Lulu's. Okay. Meshki's is a good one. Okay, that's the only one that y'all are naming. I haven't searched. Meshki's here's, good. Here's the problem. Okay. And y'all, this is this is the truth. You can be here for this or you cannot. My my boobs <laughs> are not the kind of boobs that you can wear a backless dress with, okay? They are not the kind that you can wear. Even a strapless bra, me and the bra, strapless be struggling, okay? They are the kind that need support. <laughs> I have two children. And even before the two children, they needed support. <laughs> and so here we are. You are getting married on the beach, in the summer, the vibes of beach summer require back out, sides out, no straps, side straps. They require drama. My boobs are drama enough. <laughs> they don't have the ability to be drama and also add more drama because people are going to have questions. <laughs> and so all of these sites y'all are listing, don't tell me about boob tape. I don't want to hear about your boob tape. I don't want to hear about your boob tape. Your boob tape don't work. It don't work for these boobs. I don't know. Anthropology, I, I searched it. I don't know who is in the back rooms of these boob tape companies, but they don't have my boobs. Because if you did, y'all would be making better boob tape. Because these boob tapes don't work. Don't tell me about skims. Don't tell me about spanks. Don't tell me about none of it. None of it. Works. None of it works. This is Mel need to get this off her chest. I did. Say more. Because what is happening? <laughs> Let me tell you how stressed out Melissa's wedding has been. <laughs> Let me tell you. I am now looking into surgery. I was like, well, how quickly can I have somebody fix these before I go to the wedding? Because then maybe I can have a dress that has my back out. So. I'm sorry, sister. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's actually not completely related to her job, but I mean to her wedding. However, I just want y'all to know, I don't, 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 don't tell me about none of the things because they don't work. I've tried them all. I've had these. I'm 36 or seven, one of those. And I've had these for most of that time frame. I know how they work. I also know how they don't work. There is not a solution yet that works for me. Okay. Moving on. Oh, I should do an ad. Go ahead, girl. Because <laughs> we're here now. Sorry, Monique is in there talking about. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you what I am happy with. That is my hair. <laughs> and that's because of products like Vegamore. I'm always trying to do right by my body. Amen. Uh, so when it comes to my hair and scalp health, finding a product that actually works and is made with clean ingredients always seems like a trade-off. But with Vegamore, get products that are made with clean ingredients and give me visibil visibly healthy hair and scalp. With Vegamore, I'm able to have visibly thicker, fuller, shinier, longer hair with 
without all the harsh ingredients. Every cute pink bottle of Vegamore products are 100% cruelty free and are never formulated with potentially harm harmful chemicals like parabens or hormones. They have obviously um, some amazing products. Uh, I've mentioned many times before that uh, Courtney, who is on Melissa's team, is, swears by Vegamore, loves it, has told us about how amazing the products are. Um, and what's even better is that Vegamore's value kits, like the Grow Essentials Kit, where you get to try more than one amazing product at a great savings. When you sign up for a monthly subscription, you save more and you never run low on the products you need to take care of your hair. Because you know when you get low and then you don't order at that time, then the next thing you know you're out and now you don't have what you need. So when you uh, subscribe... OK, when you use their subscription, you get to never run low. It takes care of it for you. So give your hair the power of the little pink bottle with Vegamore for a limited time. Gin and Juice listeners get 20 percent off of their first order by going to Vegamore.com slash gin gin and use code gin gin at checkout. That's Vegamore, V-E-G-A-M-O-U-R dot com slash gin code gin to save 20 percent on your first order. Vegamore.com slash gin code gin. 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 Are you done, Jen? I am done. <laughs> I was going to give you your space. <laughs> I am done. I'm sorry for everyone I have apologize. stressed out. It's your wedding. Um, but I, but I, I am sorry in the way that um, you're also not sorry. Yeah. Amen. I am sorry <laughs> in the like, but I'm not going to change it type of way. Absolutely. You know how they say like a real apology or the best apology is change behavior. Mm -mm. I'm actually not going to change my behavior. I wouldn't expect you to. Um, <laughs> I, I do want folks to show up and show out. I really do. I really do. Because in my mind, you guys are going to look so good in the pictures and everyone's going to be color coordinated <laughs> and dressed to impress. That's the thing. Like when people don't come dressed to impress and you're in the pictures, you look, you stand out, you look odd. 100%. And so I want folk to like come ready because this is the other thing about me that people know when I go to places, which I never actually really realized, but I'm starting to. If I'm invited somewhere, if I'm on a panel, people will often come to me and be like, I knew I had to come correct because I knew you were going to be on the panel. Mm. Or I knew Mel I knew Melissa was going to dress, so I knew I had to. Yes. So I'm trying to forewarn y'all. Absolutely. This I'm actually asking. I, if I, if we're doing stuff and I don't, it's not mine, I really don't care which, how you come. It don't <laughs> affect me. Don't never mind. But because it's mine... I do, I do want mm -hmm. you to come correctly. I do want you a little bit to come correctly. <laughs> so please come correctly. So that way when we go back and we look at the pictures, y'all going to be like, that was the best Absolutely. dress wedding because everybody came like dressed to the nines. So I am so sorry <laughs> that I still expect this from y'all. <laughs> I will tell I'm you this. I got... So instead of... I'm doing all the things. So instead of doing a guest book where people sign, yes. we're doing a picture one. So I um, bought these Polaroid cameras. Yes. And you get to take a picture and stick it inside of the book. Uh -huh. And then to the right or left, depending on where the thing is, you write a note. Oh, got it. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that so cute? That is cute. So again, don't you want to be cute in that picture? Yeah. I want to be cute every day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, not just for your wedding. I, I want to be cute in general. It's going to be so good. So there's going to be... All of the actually, this is the day. This is actually for the the welcome party. We'll do it because I had too many things going on for uh -huh. the Um, But for the welcome party, you guys will all the people, all the guests will be able to take a picture and then stick it in there, and then they get to write like a little note or whatever. And then for the day of, I'm about to tell you all the stuff. It don't matter. Um, we're here now. Um, we're here now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we're doing the outfit outfit of the day of the guests. So all the guests will say hi to the camera and show their outfit. So we're going to string that together. And the, it's going to be you like, see? did my guest you nail see? it? Yes. And did so, my guest nail it? Yes. Did my guest nail it? At so, the pressure. Yes. Yeah, so that's going to, that's what I'm telling you. So you don't give up. And so that's so part of it. So you don't give yeah, up. Don't give up. Keep the fight. Keep the strength. Go black people. Um, Anyone know any plastic surgeons <laughs> that can, then, can do surgery tomorrow? It's going to be so exciting. I'm so excited. And then we're going to do a um, post. They're going to be post ceremony interviews. So I got this little this mic. This is reality TV. Oh, it's so good. We got confessionals. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to have like little mics and you're going to give like either your favorite memory or like words of encouragement or like whatever. This is amazing. So good. I am so excited. <laughs> 
for all of the stuff. Yeah, the pressure got worse there. I'm sorry. I am <laughs> so excited to capture all of these memories for me oh. forever. It's going to be great. It's going to be You deserve so it because fun. your first one was not, not this. It actually, it is only Monique's wedding was better. I got married. No, Nick actually got married first. This, she, Ma no, maybe not. No, because you got married in June. She got married in October. In the fall. Yeah. In the fall. So I got married. Nick's wedding was better. And we got married within a few months. Yes. Mel got married legitimately 10 years later, which in yes. real time I didn't actually realize. Same. But now legitimately McKinley is 10 years younger than Joe. Yep. And Mel's wedding anniversary. I'm celebrating 20 this year. And we, in September, Mel will be celebrating 10. her 10. Yep. Right? Freaking phenomenal. It was the first time. This is how churchy we were. It never occurred to me that you could have a wedding outside of a church until your <laughs> wedding. I, hand to God. It did not occur to me that you could get married outside of a church until Melanie's wedding. You know, it's so funny. I never, ever intended ever to get married inside of a church. That is so ever. wild. I love the Lord. I love Jesus. And I still <laughs> never intended to ever have a wedding inside of a church. No, thank you. <laughs> I never considered it. That's hilarious. In a million years. <laughs> never. I Literally at Mel's wedding, we, she had alcohol. She had a bar there. Open bar. Open run it bar. Up. Yes. It was at a, um, <laughs> it was at a, like a really nice hotel. What's the name of that hotel, man? It was, uh, it was a, like a, a club. What are those called? Oh, like a country club. It was a, like a country club. It was so nice. <laughs> and I was like, this is what people do. <laughs> I didn't know that this was an option. So you mean to tell me this whole time people been having weddings not at the church? Absolutely. Open bar with secular music running from beginning to end. Show did. Run it up. And Greg, now we get that with yours. Yeah, I know. Greg came in on um you tell everybody. Yeah. How does it go? I'm I don't know. Who I'm, the man, I'm, I'm the, the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Came in on the song. He sure did. And was Doing all the all the Atlanta he stuff, was. and all I was the just, Atlanta stuff. I was just like, "You can do this." We did what we wanted. I didn't know you could do this. <laughs> I I literally it never occurred to me that's hilarious that the Aloe Black that's exactly who it was. Mm -hmm. It never occurred to me that there were like like I know this is very much like duh, of course, <laughs> Melissa, but I really need you guys to understand like the way that I've been brainwashed. Yeah. I've been trying to tell well and. There were a ton of weddings that happened in in church in that church when we went there. So like true. every time somebody got married, it was like, okay, so it's gonna be at the church. Yes. What time should yes. we be here for it? So yes. it was like that was the only thing that was happening. Yes, and it, it, I I I promised to God it didn't occur to me until Mel's wedding. So then I was like, aha. So then after Mel's wedding, I was introduced to destination weddings. Oh yeah. I was just like. What are these people doing? <laughs> what do you mean? Living their life. Living their life? Not doing it in a church already. And then you're going to have people fly? Oh, my God. And all the people are flying for yours. And all the people <laughs> are flying. Okay? It just, I just really didn't know. And so um, I really actually wanted to do it in like a beautiful place like Greece or like uh -huh. Paris. And then, first of all, it's very expensive. That's A. But B... My unpopular opinion is that Paris is not. Paris is like storybook fans, romantic. I agree. But in real life. It's not. Who wants to be there? <laughs> After you see the tower. It'd be like. The Eiffel Tower. And you get, you get, you have one French meal. And, and this is the thing enough. about the French. They don't really be eating like that. So it'd just be like, here's some bread. That literally, it'd be like, here's our French Parisian bread. Yes. And then you're like, oh. Here's a pastry with chocolate. Here's a pastry that's glazed. Here's a pastry with cheese. Here's a pastry. Girl, if you don't give me some bacon, it is. <laughs> literally. Well, and then, right, if you're in, in London, they give you that nasty European breakfast. And so it, the whole <laughs> European experience. You will lose weight. Is... For the storybooks. It really is London. I'll be like. <laughs> Let me tell you. When I, when, matter of fact, when we were getting married, my coworker, okay, uh, was like, it's a white older guy. And he was like, oh, where are you guys going to go for your honeymoon? And I'm like, you know, we're trying to figure it out. And he was like, you don't want to go somewhere like Paris, somewhere in Europe? And I was like, why would I do that? <laughs> I said honeymoon. 
Why would I go there? It's really not. What am I going to do? I am going to somewhere with palm trees and a yes, beach. Yes, correct. I am not going to go walk around Europe. You got, I, that's not even my vibe. I don't know if you've met I me. I concur. Absolutely not. We went to Costa Rica. And okay, had a ball. And had the best time up in somebody's mountains. Okay. Because <laughs> that's what you should do. We were, we couldn't even use internet. Okay. It was like, hold on. We may have went a little too far. <laughs> but it was not Europe. I'm not, that's just not the vibe. I, I'm not like, uh, Barca, I do enjoy Italy. So Italy, I do enjoy, uh, Barcelona. I think it's beautiful, but like very specifically, let me just be specific because Europe is a whole continent, right? Paris and London. It's a no for me, dog. Not absolutely. It's a no for I me. I actually do like London though. I feel like I would like in another day and time I would have lived there, but not for a wedding and yeah. not for a honeymoon. It's not. But also I feel like once you see Big Ben. That's what I'm saying. That getting. also is always in scaffolding. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like, is this New York? Like, figure it out. Like, yeah. put it together. What's happening? Why is it always under construction? And then once you see <laughs> the castle, Buckingham Palace. Yeah, you see, you see them guards, and then you've seen the guards. Girl, you've okay. Seen the we seen the most exciting thing about Buckingham Palace one time when we went, a guard passed out. <laughs> <laughs> that was. When I tell you, oh, Carrie fell. <laughs> that is terrible. The most exciting. Everything else was like, okay, girl. Like it is worth doing, like the one time. No, hundred percent. And then after that, you're like, oh, I don't have to come back because we, when the guys were on tour, they used to always do a London mm. date. And so at first, it's like, oh, this is so cool. You guys are like doing international dates. Oh, this is so cool. By the second time, I said, I know, I ain't, I ain't got to go back. I, I don't wait because somebody said Portugal. We went to Portugal. <laughs> e. E. I mean, if that's where you want to go, you should go. We w I wouldn't go back. <laughs> <laughs> we me either. I just don't get this. He said, What do you mean, sir? No, not enjoyable. Not enjoyable. also, to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, this is after our horrific trip. True. In Germany. True. We had a terrible time oh, in Germany. We had a terrible. And then we went to Portugal. But it was ugly weather. It was terrible weather. The food was not fooding. And I just knew we were going to have some amazing food. I was all on TikTok. That food was not. All the folk on TikTok. This is where I ate it. In, where was it? In Portugal. It was so amazing. Let me show you the place. <laughs> so amazing. Listen to this. These are my top 10 places I ate. Bookmark. Bookmark. We're going to go. Y'all lied. <laughs> Y'all, everybody, everybody giving you the same places to eat at, and they were terrible. Terrible. Sorry. It's, I, okay. it's a no. No. My answer is no. Greece was great. Uh, Italy was great. You been to Greece? I think so. No, I haven't been to Greece. Oh, I was like, no. hold on. What did you no, go to Greece? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Italy was great. And Spain. Venice was great. Rome was great. Barcelona was great. Mm. That's all I got for you. Well, and I'm low key. I'm kind of, <clears throat> I'm a little bit. I kind of want to go to another like tropical place. Absolutely. Too, for, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I think for the next trip, I would like Somebody to Somebody said we are vacationers and not travelers. That may be true. That is true. That may be true. When we go to places with the boys, we travel. Like when we did Egypt, mm -hmm. we were like, let's experience Egypt. Let's go see the sites and the museums and the da 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 da. Okay. That is like, let's experience, let's travel. Sure. Right. But there are times where I'm like, I, I don't want to get up and then meet a guide and then, oh, no. and then you learn me about the, yeah, the historical mean, facts. That's not me. I am. I I want I want a cup of rum. <laughs> vacation me every time. Listen, I will go to an all inclusive resort, correct? To every uh yes, everywhere in the Caribbean. You name it, I will go. 
and it will be all inclusive. I don't even have to leave the resort. It'd be so the true. same experience, just in a different place. Yes. And I will do it every time. Yes, I agree. I'm not going to walk no museum. Yes. I'm not going to go see no castles. I'm not I'm not doing that. Not on a vacation I'm paying for it. Now listen, yeah. if somebody else is paying for it and they and, and as a part of that payment, I am required to then walk, I will do it. That's yes, fine. I agree. I am not. Not on a place, not at a time when I need a break from life. The whole point for me to travel is I have to, like, decompress. Yeah, I agree. I'm not going to decompress by going to learn about your history. Yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm uh, not doing that. Yeah. Sorry. That's you, just not who I am. Yeah. I think you do have to define if you are, like, going to experience and, like, you know, do the things. Or if you're like, no, 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 I just want to, like, vacation. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, we've done a combination of both. Sure. Um, And when we've gone to London and Paris, for that matter, we, did, we didn't have no guide or nothing. But we were there trying to, like, take in all the stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. I will say, though, Singapore, we, when I went to Singapore, and I do want to go back, but it felt like a combination of both. I will say that. Because it's such a... It's I could beautiful both. and it's like things to see, um, but it also feels so tropical yeah. and everything is just beautiful. It felt like a like a good mix, uh, so I would want to go back, but I also would want to go back for like two days and then I would want to hop over to like Thailand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And not to like take in Thailand. Yeah, I think that's actually the good thing now as a mix of both. Mm -hmm. I would want to um, like understand where I am, the history, have an appreciation. I also believe one of the best ways to experience a place is through like authentic food there. Mm -hmm. So like I love that kind of stuff, but then also then leave me alone. Absolutely, oh, absolutely. So, I don't like don't I hate people telling me when to wake up. We yeah. talked about this before. I don't. I'm not. Yeah. Don't tell me when to wake up. I will wake up my, when my body wakes up. Because that's the whole and point. Then I will decide what I'm gonna do at that point. Leave me alone. Yeah. Otherwise, I could just be at work for that. Absolutely. And I want everybody to be clear. What we do, this is work. I know it just be talking, but like, it be work too. It be work. Uh, You want to go ahead? And then we, we ain't talked about nothing. We've got, we, we caught y'all on, on long story short was that I'm getting, I was going to talk about some other stuff, but it don't matter. Oh, sorry. Um, no. The other thing about vacations is you, when you go to a resort, you don't have to think about what you're going to eat. Show up. And if you want that experience at home, you need to key in on HelloFresh. Okay, with HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre proportioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Ditch the meal planning woes and dive into HelloFresh's biggest menu yet with over 50 recipes and even more market items to choose from every single week. Make delicious food a priority this summer with quick, convenient recipes delivered right to your door. Just choose your meals and select the delivery date. HelloFresh has handles all of the meal planning, shopping, and most of the prep. So all you have to do is open your box and get to cooking. Uh, I obviously love HelloFresh. My kids are going to Atlanta um, after the wedding, but when they get back, we will be using HelloFresh for the entire summer because <laughs> I don't have time to think about what the heck I should feed you. Uh, they have a couple favorite meals. There, There's a, a meatball recipe we love. There's a meatloaf recipe we love. They got some taco recipes that we love. We love mostly everything that gets delivered to us, and I don't have to think about it. The hardest part about cooking and being a parent is figuring out what we're going to eat, mm -hmm. okay? And you have to start thinking about it at, like, 10 a.m. <laughs> when you wake up, it's like, oh, okay, what do we have planned today, and what are we going to have for dinner? Yes. <laughs> and then you have to schedule time to go to the grocery store in order to get the the prep, and then you have to have time to prep and then cook. Yes. All of that is removed with HelloFresh. So go to HelloFresh.com slash GJ apps. GJ apps? Yeah, for free appetizers for life. Got it. One appetizer item per box while subscription is active. That's free appetizers for life at HelloFresh.com slash GJ apps. GJ apps. Amen. Okay, we're going to move on. That was our long story short. <laughs> and Mel's pop the trunk. We'll do another pop the trunk. Uh, but before we go into that, I actually, let me just do a little bit of the perfect match. Do it, girl. And then we can go into, we can end on the pop the trunks. Okay. Okay. I thought Melanie and I had made an agreement that we were going to watch the perfect match. So I stayed up I last night. too busy looking for a dress. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I stayed up last night getting completely caught up. Okay. So the only thing I'm missing right now is the finale that comes out on like Friday. I think. Oh, it's week. not even out yet. Yeah, it's not okay. out yet. Okay. 
Let's talk about the first and the foremost. Dear black women, don't go on this show. Oh, that's the lesson here? That, absolutely. 100%. Actually, that do be the lesson for all these dating shows. That is the They don't never set lesson. us up right. If you are not in a like round robin thing where you are choosing each other, okay. but it is just like basically you have to be picked for the team, they don't be checking for they us. They don't. And the way they completely overlook the the beautiful black women yes. in the room is so it's twofold actually the only thing worse than over i would rather this is my actual truth i would rather the men overlook the black women and send them home early mm -hmm. than to use them as a pawn amen to advance to the next round yeah. and then leave them and embarrass them the round after yep, yep, yep. and so what pissed me off specifically about this season is that Tolu was matched with Dom. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing about Dom, if you don't know who Dom, I'm not going to give no explanations. You just got to know who Dom is because all this got a lot of history. And if yeah, you don't know yeah. who he is, I'm so sorry. You're going to be confused on this part. The problem with Dom is that I thought I liked him. I did too. Well, on that first, what was the first show he was on? The That's Mole? Was it was The Mole. That's right. The first show on The Mole. I liked him. I liked Dom. Then on the first season of the Perfect yes. Match, I thought I liked. I thought he got done so dirty. Yes. I thought the women was taking advantage of this little black man, and he's sensitive. Yeah, he just so sensitive, but he don't like black women. Yes, that's his actual problem. Because someone reminded me, and by someone I mean my TikTok, reminded me that in the first season of the Perfect Match, he got matched with a uh, Colony. He sure did. And what did he tell that man? There's a beautiful, black, strong, sure, independent strong, woman that you he should. sure did. You know. Uh, and, and passed her off. Sure did. And I forgot that. And so I thought I went into season two on some like, Dom, this is your chance. Go in yeah. here and get what you deserve. Do these women as dirty as they've done you because you deserve it. And then it was at Tolu's expense. Yeah. And I turned on him. Because, and this is when I specifically turned on him. She, they got matched. They had a good, good first date. And she was giving him all the flowers. It was electrifying. Aww. You're such a good black man or a good man. And we had such a good time. And there's just a connection. We have so much in common. You're from Houston. I'm from Houston. Rah, rah, yeah. H-Town. Ha, ha. Beyonce, Beyonce. Hey. Do the things. Cowboy Carter. And then as soon as a little racially ambiguous girl came uh -huh. in, he act like he ain't seen a girl a day in her life. Ignored her was rude to her went into the room and had this energy and was low-key trying to make it seem like it was her no your energy changed yes. i like you all of a sudden you don't like me and i thought we liked each other two minutes ago what's happening what's happening forced her to go not forced her but like very much recommended that you should go find your person yeah. you should put yourself on a date that's terrible piss me off wait let me just say this because at the you're saying it but i just want to say it again which is that it this it reiterates this notion that black women are unattractive, yes, not desirable, yes, too strong, yes, intimidating, okay? and and it's countered with women from other ethnic back backgrounds, okay? And they are desirable, and they are attractive, okay? And, there is no counter to that. The At shows all. don't do, the productions don't do a service in countering that because people have the right to have preference, okay? You can like who you like. That's your business. But if you're going to have a show in which you put black women particularly on and you don't have people they don't even have to be black men, but if you don't have people who would then find them attractive, you are then doing not only doing a disservice, mm -hmm. but you are like reinforcing reinforcing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this yes. idea that black women are not attractive and I not agree. desirable. And that is unfair. It's so unfair. Don't even put them on the show if you're not going to do that. The mo one of the things I loved about the South Africa show, that was a Man. shit show. But the thing that I loved, it was that those men found those women attractive. Show did. They picked them. They and wanted them. And they were brown them. skin. And they were brown skin. They loved on them. And you don't see that with these other perfect match where everybody's in a bikini. Be clear. And 
Americanized. Americanized. The American 100%. version of these yes. shows. Everybody's in the little skimpy bikinis and everybody's protting around, prancing around. Okay. And, and on those American shows, the black women aren't picked. Ever. And that is so frustrating. Drives me insane. It is frustrating. Then she goes with, did she get caught up with Cass? And he is a a, a brown skinned black man. Yeah. I mean, he's from wherever he's from, somewhere in Europe, I want to say. But like brown, brown skin. Yeah. So I was like, oh, he's finna be the he finna go. Let me tell you who liked the girl. This man look, let me pull him up. He looked like he is in a Disney movie. <laughs> I kid you not. Oh, the uh his name is Chris. Chris from don't go on these shows the perfect match don't do it he looks like he is literally from melanie he looked like he's aladdin he look or like the the white man in beauty and the beast yeah yeah actually that's a better description because aladdin actually has a little more yes uh, he has some color yeah he looks absolutely he does yes so this, but then he pissed me off too, child. Everybody was pissing me off. I was going to say, the whole show. Everybody was pissing me off. I was like, yell, Gaston. That's who he looked like. Gaston. That is. Yes. It is. So this is, Chris, I was for Chris too. Because this is what happened. They're sitting at the table, right? And they're doing this like truth or dare game. And all the new people are in the house. Everybody's trying to figure it out, whatever. And so everybody, you know, jockeying for a position who they're going to match with. And so Tolu asked the tape. No, no, no. She asked Chris because it was her turn to ask him. Well, I dare you because in his past life, he was a, a an adult entertainer. Entertainer. Okay. Not a stripper, but, you know, but the entertaining kind. Uh-huh. And so, sorry, this earring got heavy. So she says, I dare you. To give a lap dance to the girl you most fancy in the room. To Gaston. To Gaston. Okay. Chow, he got up and went straight to Tolu, and she was unprepared, and so was I. She, that girl said, ooh, ooh, ooh. I said, ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me in a room of two black men, the white man that looked like a freaking dog on Disney Prince is the one that likes Tolu? What? Well, and was like, oh, like she's my type to a T. Hello, come on, Gaston. My type to a T. You better. And that was my energy. Okay, then, come on, Gaston. Cause all these other jokes. Okay, us. you better. I was like totally here for it because when I tell you, it was like I was blindsided. I didn't see it coming from a mile away. Like you could, I could have bet money that this was never. Like so, you what, I gotta could, go back on my rant. No, because then <laughs> this is what happened, and this is why he pissed me off. Oh. Then. They had the little mixer with the women that wasn't picked to stir up chaos because this whole season was number chaos. Yeah, and as soon as he saw the red, he didn't even go for the other black girl. I was like, oh, I know who you're going to go for. Melinda. Be Melinda's from his type. the host from Too Hot to Handle. They, they Why did you call her the host? Because she was the host on one of the shows. Oh, okay. On Dated and Related. But before that, she was, she was uh, on, you know who she... Go ahead. Sorry. I didn't watch it. Okay. But let me tell you why the host part is important, but I'm going to get to it in a minute. So, because she was the host on the show he was on. And he was like, I had a crush on you, but you were the host. She was like, yeah, I kind of noticed you too. But as the host, like I had to maintain my professionalism or whatever. Mm. So I'm like, oh, he's going to go after her. They kind of hit it off a little bit, but then he kind of like skirt her and went back to Tolu. So I was like completely here for it. Cause I was like, oh, this, he like her, like Mm. I'm here for it. And went after some other girl. And I was like, and then lied to Tolu. And then when Tolu was like, well, let's talk about it. Can y'all both come forward? Let's talk about it. Uh, he said that he wasn't really into you and like it could be whatever. And he was like, I didn't say that. And she was like, I'm going to leave because you're not going to sit here and lie to me to Hello? my face. Yes. So Tolu was like, well, just let me know because if you don't, if you want to experience other girls, like I don't have to be the one to hold you back. And I was just like, you didn't piss me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, if you don't like the girl, like, like the girl. Her, yeah. If you don't like her, let her go. Like if you don't like me, then don't talk to me. So if anyway. If you don't like me, then don't talk yeah, to me. It was stupid. So he pissed me off. This is the Bad important man. part about Melinda. Okay? okay. Melinda, the host, non-host contestant. Yes. She was on Too Hot to Handle at first. But okay. okay. That's why I know her from. But Got okay. it. So she was on Too Hot to Handle. I don't know what she hosted. I thought that's what she hosted. She hosted something else. Anyway, 
she's on there prancing around doing her little situation when they started up the chaos. And Harry, who was on another dating show, tall, basic white man. Okay. Like, this is the thing. You could actually be like a cute white dude. Absolutely. He's not it. Oh. He's just tall. He's just tall. He is tall, but he is misogynistic. Oh. He is a womanizer. Oh. The way he talks about women is not attractive. I don't understand oh the appeal outside of he's got to be six, five, six. Oh. I mean, he is just. What does he have to offer? He's tall. Literally. And that would be his offering. Because when you talk to him, you're just kind of like, I don't want to be with you. And I certainly won't want you to be the daddy to a daughter. Oh, Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. So he gets matched up with Jess. We all remember Jess. You are going to croak when you see me. You're going to have an asthma attack. You are choke. You are going to need an EpiPen. That Jess. Okay, who I thought I liked, but now I'm a little bit confused on her too. Everybody in this season had me a little bit confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had me a little bit confused. So anyway, he picks up Melinda. They're at the beach. There's rocks. She's shoeless. He's like, I'll pick you up and take you to the bathroom. So she's like, okay, then. So he picks her up. You know, because he's tall. Yes, Jess from Love is Blind. He has been matched up with Jess. Mind you, at this point, with him and Jess, they're like, child, I love you. This is Harry. Harry okay. to Jess. Six I foot. Yes, okay. I love you. Yeah. I'm ready to be a role model to your daughter. Hey, man. I see us having a relationship outside of the four walls of this show. Okay. Like, you're my everything. You're the love of my life. Like, laying it on Thick, 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 okay? And she's eating it up. Like, okay, then, yeah, like, it's whatever. Like, I love you, too, okay? He, they go on this little thing. He's already talking reckless. Like, the Cass, who's actually a really cute uh, black dude. Cass is so freaking cute, okay? Like, he's so cute. And gets with Micah. Oh, Micah is blonde hair. Yes, love is blind. Yes. Anyway, let me not get sidetracked. Because the whole thing, I was like, everybody's doing this wrong. Everybody's doing it wrong. Okay. Cass, you see her? Mm. Go ahead, keep okay. going. Okay. So she's like, I'll pick you up and take you to the bathroom. So he picks her up. I don't know what happened to the footage. Okay. Uh, I think they're going to drop it in the finale, Probably. but there's no footage. All of a sudden, all you hear is, uh, oh, you just kissed me. Wait, it's Harry Six Footer has is with- kissing Melinda. Melinda, black girl. There's no Hope. camera footage of it, but you hear her voice. Yeah. He says, no, I didn't. There's no camera who saw it. Then it evolves into, uh, you're, uh, you're just clout chasing. Everybody wants their 15 minutes of fame. All you're doing is clout chasing. Nobody saw it. So now, fast forward a little more. He's denying it, denying it, denying it, denying it. He goes back and meets his Jess. The okay. All the guys with. and the girls are having a conversation about how it went when y'all we were separated and the other people came. And he's like in the bed crying. So Jess is downstairs with the whole group and she's like, Where's Harry? They're like, I don't know. Cause you know, the guys are gonna be guys and be like, I don't know what happened. Mm-hmm. So she's like, Where's Harry? He's like, I don't know. She goes upstairs, he's under big, tall, lanky, six foot man under the covers crying. The drama. Talking about, I just feel like I wasn't a good role model for Autumn. That's the daughter. For the daughter? Yes. I was, And I didn't represent myself well. And uh, when the girls come over tomorrow, a lot of girls going to be saying a lot of things. Oh, but oh. I want you to know nothing else happened. Oh. I just picked her up. Heads up. I, exactly. I just picked her up and I it shouldn't have even did that. And so Jess is like, I feel like it's more to this story. Absolutely. Because what? Why you need to tell why, me you picked her and up why and there it, was rock? Why is there so much drama? Right. With this. You're crying. The drama, In the sir. bed. Six foot man. And all you did was pick her up? Right. The math ain't math, but okay. So the girls come. They have a, a little table, a little chat with all the girls. And so Melinda's like, Jess, what did he tell you? He walks by. He's like, I'm about to throw it. Oh, I'm, I'm about sure. to throw it. Oh, absolutely. It. She's like, um, he told me he picked you up and that he said, you know, he'll put a baby in you. Because Melinda's like, you know, I'm 30. Like, I'm ready for a baby. He's like, I'll put a baby in you. No. Mind you, the camera doesn't hear it. This is all at the, this point. Yeah. He say, she said. Yeah. And so Jess is like, yeah, he told me he said that. And so Melinda is like, well, did he tell you he kissed me? The whole table is <laughs> like, oh. 
Mind you, because they're appearing to be the strongest couple. I was gonna say they've been lovey dovey. I love the you. The whole I'm gonna time be in your life, I'm the gonna take care of your kid. And all of a sudden, Melinda is like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." When you was around, he picked me up, and then he kissed. And me. then he kissed me twice. Because being tall is not a personality trait. Exactly, <laughs> integrity is though. A hundred percent. Okay, so then, <laughs> so then, this is what pissed me off about Jess. She gonna say. Well, do you feel good now? And basically, the sentiment is embarrassing me in front of all these women. If that's what really happened, you could have took me aside and had this conversation. First of all. I'm sorry, what? Wrong answer. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. Why are you attacking me? I don't owe you nothing. He do. He does. And if he going around telling, if, he, if his mouthpiece is that I'm lying. I'm going to correct that in front of everybody who needs it needs to be corrected in front of, including you, honey. Including you. And everybody else. And that's my choice. Because he is literally going around saying uh, they know who I, basically his energy is that you guys know who I am in the Netflix universe. And because of that, she's trying to associate herself with me and drama to extend her 15 minutes of fame. That's essentially what his like that's why she's lying she's lying because she just wants to be associated with me and uh she just wants she's clout chasing basically she's just clout, clout chasing well let's extend this 15 minutes of fame till 30 and let's have a conversation about the fact that you kissed me sir i am so excited oh my gosh for this renewal because this is i mean renewal the the reunion because this is the thing and netflix they even if the cameras didn't catch it that audio did. Absolutely. Because they're mic'd. They be mic'd. So even if, which I don't know how, because again, of who he is, how is the camera not on him? Yeah. And he just picked up that girl. Okay. After he said, uh, Cass had another little cute little black girl all over him. And he's matched up with Micah, which whatever. He's matched up with Micah, black girl. And he and uh, Harry's like, um, I don't know how he's doing it. He got strength and stamina because I would have folded. And the other guy's like, yeah, I would have too. I, and then Harry says, I would have folded even if I was married with two kids. And Jess, you want, you believe that that same man that's been t talking crazy about, like the most objectifying thing. He said this other girl was cream pied. I had to Google it. I didn't even know what it meant. I was like, what the heck is cream pie mean? <laughs> Uh, my he's like uh me and her have history and i heard stefan whatever his name is Arcan? cream pider jesus i was like oh no just out of, pocket. out of pocket and that's the same man he's like i've been to therapy he's crying to just i've been to therapy i did so much self-work i'm a change and i just feel like everybody's looking at me like the person i was and i'm not that person anymore i just want you to give me a chance and not judge me on my past Oh boy. The lies. The, the lies. lies. So anyway, y'all should catch up. <laughs> y'all should watch. The That's the show. long and the short I of need it. To catch up as well. Um, and if you want to have therapy like Harry, it sounds like. Yeah, <laughs> he because he need it. Okay. <laughs> Matter of fact, he should fire his therapist and come on this better help therapist. Hey man. This show uh is sponsored by Better Help. And we are so excited to tell you about them. This year has gone so quickly and I am proud of a lot of things this year so far. I've accomplished a number. I'm proud of you too. Oh, Greg! I'm so proud of you. I am so proud of you. <laughs> this is so sweet. I'm out there sitting like, when could I break in here? You came with the perfect flow. Oh, <laughs> say your speech, Greg. I'm bringing her flowers because Thank my you. wife, within a year, it's so sweet. Started her YouTube. I did. And she created this whole platform up to 20,000 followers. And I'm going to kiss you. How many times do you kiss this girl? Two times? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three mm -hmm. times, Greg. Mm -hmm. Three times. Thank you. This is for you. I appreciate and it. And I'm I... proud of you. Thank you so much. I was not Your expecting this. I was not saying we were my kids. Don't bring them in here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank oh, I want to say, do your thing. I'm going to go say hi Thank to the girls. Thank you. Have your moment. Yes. That was very sweet of you. So, yes. Came on here. I feel hot now. <laughs> I was like, why are you Because here? she's done this and she's I made have. it. Thank you. Made it possible and made it. Um, that was very sweet of you. 
Yeah, making she's making me a believer because y'all know I don't you know social <laughs> media for me is real hard to handle, but she I'm seeing it. She ain't got no rich uncles, nobody putting on we like got that. Kids. Oh and yeah, this. we got okay. Yeah, we got kids. we got a rich rich brother in law <laughs> and sister, amen, <laughs> and sister in law. But no, yeah, thank you. This I is very it. impressive. I'm proud of you, and this I wanted to just come on here and let you know that very sweet gesture. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Come on, one more. Holla at y'all. Peace out. Keep 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 this in the uh. Don't edit this. <laughs> that was sweet. <laughs> sorry, man, I can't see. Oh, sorry. It's fine. Oh, we're definitely keeping this in. He said, take it out. No, he said, don't take it out. Oh no, this has to stay. And this was that's a good man, Savannah. Amen. That was sweet, Greg. It was very sweet. And in the middle of the BetterHelp app. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to run it back, uh, which is to say that this year has gone so quick. After talking about Perfect Match and the chaos of that, he going into BetterHelp and then getting the, this just that whole segment. I don't I don't know what this show is about <laughs> anymore, you guys. Just bear with us here. Uh, this year has gone so quickly. And to the point of the flowers, one of the things I am very proud of is that I recently hit 20,000 subscribers uh, in, on YouTube, which I'm very excited about. But there's obviously so many more things that I want to accomplish uh, with growing that channel and continuing to obviously to grow gin and juice and growing all the things. Um, and so when life goes so fast, which it currently is, it's important to take a moment to celebrate your wins and make adjustments for the rest of the year. And therapy can help you stock uh, take stock of your progress and set achievable goals for the next six months. I always love therapy because it's amazing to it really take stock, but also to like reevaluate, adjust and have somebody to bounce off uh, the all the ideas and things swirling in your head um, and having someone who you pay to do that. <laughs> It's good because sometimes when you don't pay people and they you have them to bounce stuff off of, what bounces back don't always be good. Mm -hmm. It don't always make sense. Mm -hmm. It's not always very helpful. But with better help, these people are here for that. Um, and they can give you just more informed responses than someone um, that maybe you just have been friends with for a long time. So. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Take a moment. Visit BetterHelp.com slash GJ. GJ. Today to get 10% off of your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash GJ. GJ. I did not know. If someone asked. I did not know. <laughs> he just perfectly timed that. I, listen. It was great, great timing. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> oh. Um, that's it. That's all on that. Uh catch up. I'm going to. I'm gonna and catch watch up. the finale on Friday. Okay. And then um Greg can be back with roses <laughs> to cleanse our palate. Well, this is our last episode. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Before of, the break. Of the toxicity. Okay, moving on. Moving on. We will go into the, uh, how did you feel about your flowers and roses? Very, I was surprised. Literally, I'm still like, I don't, I, I had no idea that he was going to do that. We oh. were, I was very excited on whatever day I hit the thing. Um, do you, tell them about your accomplishments and what you've been doing before we move on. Jesus. Um, I, at the end That's of. That's how your mama do you go. Yeah, go tell go the people. do the things. Tell at the, the end of last year, um, I. Uh, decided to get very intentional about trying to go grow YouTube uh, because TikTok obviously has been growing, which is amazing. Um, and I know a lot of people have a lot of things to say, and that's okay. But I'm going to say the way that I feel, which is that sometimes TikTok can feel um, a bit more out of my control. Mm -hmm. uh, I made, obviously, people make the video, make the video, whatever. I made the video, and it feels like it happened to work. Mm -hmm. And I'm making the videos and I am proud and think I do a good job and that platform has um, continued to grow. But YouTube is the first platform where I was like, I want to grow this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to put more into the videos that I post there changing. Before I was just putting whatever went on TikTok, I just put it up on YouTube. But instead I started, oh... The YouTube, uh, what is it, landscape uh -huh, uh -huh. is different than the TikTok one. So let me adjust that. Let me, I worked with an editor for a while as far as like making it. Uh, we got a graphic on there. Mm -hmm. We got like, so it just became more intentional and in trying to put descriptions in there and renaming the YouTube page. And so 
being able to hit 20,000, which was my first goal, was it just re I felt really proud because it was it felt like my work. Like yeah. it felt like I, I did this one yeah. um, and it didn't just happen. But like I did this one. So anyway, it's been and the being able to see comments of people who are discovering me mm -hmm. on last week. Somebody, uh, a girl who has like 600,000 subscribers on YouTube, she used my video in her video oh, nice. and then she said uh you know go follow this creator go check her out this is where i got her video and the thing that i really appreciate because i know this to be true is that when people with big platforms like kev mm -hmm. even people with big platforms can shout you out all day mm -hmm. and that will give you visibility 100 mm -hmm. if the people who come to your page don't feel like it's worth saying for they will leave. Absolutely. They will come to your page to see what this creator has talked about, what they, what, the, what you got going on. And if you don't have something on there that they like, they won't stay. Yeah. And so what I appreciate is that the comments that I got from last week were, came here because of her video, mm -hmm. but I love your content just subbed. Yeah, yeah. And so it felt like you came over here and you got what you were coming for. Yeah. And, and you like it. Yeah. And so therefore you're staying. So it still felt like it's affirming. It's affirming. Yeah. It still felt like that. So anyway, it just felt really hitting this milestone, particularly for YouTube, just felt really, really good. I'm like going still growing on TikTok. Obviously, I'm about to hit 700,000, which is insane to me. But like this 20,000 just feels really, really good for you too. Yeah. I think that it is important to say that growing on any platform is huge, right? It takes effort to grow on any platform, yeah. quite literally. And the way that a lot of times it can feel like the algorithm is working against you. Mm -hmm. If you're able yes. to Amen. like push through that Amen. and grow, yeah. it's huge. And so um, one of the funny things about um, TikTok is that for whatever reason, like in the like social media universe yeah. of you know all social media platforms um it always feels like tiktok followers are like the the value of a tiktok follower yes. is less than 100%. the value of other and Absolutely. to be honest it always feels like youtube is the gold standard of followers subscribers however you want to call it but growing 700,000 on any platform yeah, yeah is a reflection you can stumble a, into um a viral video to be honest on tiktok yeah, you absolutely yeah. can 100%. you can there are plenty of people not plenty but also plenty of people um that have an act like i don't know how it happened child i just yeah, got this yeah, random yeah. viral <laughs> video on tiktok and you can't replicate that yeah the difference is with mail is that they're not random you can count on a hundred thousand view video pretty consistently, yeah, yeah. which does speak to the work, the work ethic, the content, the quality, and the fact that people are searching you out. Yeah. So there's no like there you sh there's no you you can't devalue the work you put into it because seven hundred thousand is not accidental. Sure. You know. Sure. With that said, YouTube. Is not easy. It's hard. Because of the algorithm specifically on TikTok. And again, I, I, that's why I prefaced it with yeah. saying like, you're putting in the work. There's no devalue of that work here. Yeah. And still in, two things can be true. Yeah, yeah. Growing YouTube in 2024 it's... is difficult. Yes. Because YouTube has its stars. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is the platform to be honest, as the most longevity, yeah. as the most consistent pay, and you can depend. Like I know people often say that TikTok is like the new search engine, and for some things, when it's quick, fast, in a hurry, I'm a TikTok kid. Yeah, but I'll be honest, YouTube, I'll still be on that YouTube to this day. Yeah, okay. I might go on TikTok and somebody be like, this is my, you know, setup. And they show mm -hmm. you, but then they be doing it real, real, real quick. Real fast. Let me tell you something. What did you use? So yeah. I can go on YouTube yes. and Google it so someone can give me a 45-minute yep. detail. Give me it's the pros. Give me the cons. Give me uh, an evaluation of last year's model versus this year's yes. model. And tell me what you think is the best based off the value of my money. And if I want to spend under $50, because that's all <laughs> I got, you better tell me this is the best you can get for $35. And out the door, $42.52 with tax. Man. Okay? 
Because YouTube's going to give you the stuff. It does. All right. That it's perfect for long form. It just is. And TikTok, even though they are expanding their time frame, you can now do like up to 30 minutes on TikTok. But nobody's but staying for it. Nobody's staying for it. And low key, because of honestly the um the interface because their their captions take up some of the video yeah, yeah, screen yeah. and then you can't have too too many things on the edge because that'll get covered yeah. up and then the search bar is always at the top so yeah. that so you really the real estate that you have on a tiktok video is it's small yeah and youtube that's just not the case right it's a wider it's content screen. first it's content first and it's i don't feel like that tiktok i feel like the it was created to for viral moments and YouTube was created more information. for information. It's yeah. more information based. And so low key that even goes into what you post and the strategy behind how you post so it. True. And like you have to think about all of that. And so anyway, to that point, it's just really hard to grow on there. And so and it takes a lot of intentionality, is my opinion. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, it definitely it definitely takes a lot of intentionality, but it is the platform that you will get the most oh my gosh. bang for your buck if you do grow it because they have it figured out. YouTube, I mean, not YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or X, whatever it's called, threads, TikTok. Yes. They, 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 you play with my money, Smokey. 100%. They will play in your face. I have, what we say, almost, it's like 635 maybe on TikTok mm -hmm. subscribers or followers, whatever. Um, and I just hit my 20. This is the first month that the same amount of money that I make from TikTok, I am also making on YouTube. This is the first, and I'm like, I have How is it 20, mm -hmm. and I have 700, almost 700,000. I have videos who have, that have cleared a million yes. on TikTok. I, my video just cleared a hundred, one video just cleared a hundred thousand on YouTube. And yet I'm getting the same amount of money from both. Something, something ain't right. Cause here. they play in your face. Some, some of the, y'all got to do the math they a little bit better, honey. play in your face <laughs> yeah. uh, okay yeah instagram and this is the other thing this is the other thing that's great about sorry this has become a social I media rant i apologize this, this is all over the place i do apologize if, if you're interested in growing or yeah, getting yeah. into this this is some behind the scenes information that you really should know and that is this um tiktok i forgot what's going on oh okay the point is grow your youtube <laughs> The point is YouTube. The point is grow your YouTube. Oh, be I don't know what's going to say, but I'm going to say this. Because they've been around for longer and because the content is longer. Yeah. They're able to put those ads in mm -hmm. and it makes sense with that split. Yeah. And uh, uh, TikTok be like, I'm going to stroke your ego and give you a viral video. Oh, and a lot of times people be happy with that. Yeah. But when you try to make content creation your job, and let's be clear... It is a job. It absolutely let me tell you. Yes. It is a job. Yeah. There is work that goes 100%. into this. There's strategy that goes into this. There's marketing that goes into this. There's time and effort and thought yeah. that goes into this. It is a job in a different way than you what you do, but a job nonetheless. Absolutely. It is a job. Um, but because the content is shorter and because TikTok be like, if they search for you, you don't get no money. Oh man. But if they come on your FYP, you get money. And but they also, have, they pick what goes on the FYP. But then they pick what goes on the FYP. And then plus also, and if you um if you do this, we gonna say strike because you copyright the video. That's your own video. They just removed the, all the audio from my last video. They took the whole audio. The one and it be your voice. Well, no, it, this one they removed it because Karen Reed. But they it's the whole and they gave me a, a community violation strike. TikTok be like, hey girl, not you making money over here. <laughs> not you. Did did we just give her a check? Can you look at her content and strike something, Taking please? Taking all the money from this video away. Thank you. Bye bye. And and YouTube be like, hey girl, hey. So these are the rules. Um, once you hit this many subscribers or this many hours watch or whatever, I don't know what it is now, but whatever it is, you qualify for the money. Yes. Yes. And then if you press this button, we gonna force them to watch an ad. Yeah. And then even if they skip. 
we still going to serve them an ad because you're not going to be on YouTube for three hours and just not. Well, you can. But then that's called YouTube premium. So then you're going to pay me anyway. So these Girl. are your options. And then I just learned, because the people be helping me, when you go live, people have the ability to give you money there. Yeah. And I was like, I didn't know this is a thing. Okay, let me try it out. Like, it's just. They haven't figured out. That YouTube is an amazing platform. I'm learning. Yeah, YouTube hasn't figured to it, out, but it is, and um, it's it's good. And the content stays on there. Yeah. And so as people find you and they deep, you know, do their deep dives and catch up on everything, especially with your style of content, you're getting money from that. I still get dollars today from Love Hour content because most of that stuff is it's evergreen. evergreen. Child's gonna it's live evergreen. on. It's gonna live on. Yes. And that's why YouTube is. That's why they say I believe that YouTube is a superior. Mm. Like it. it it's more, they just have it more figured out. Yeah. All of that to say still and yet. 700,000 on any platform is not random. No. I And I, I take that. Yeah. I take that. I yeah. do work hard for the money, honey. Come on. But it is, um, yeah. Mm. All right. Very good. Uh, anything else we wanted to say on that before we do this? Oh, I just needed to say that we, Joe graduated. I mean, Joe, Zay graduated. Isaiah, we did. Sorry, it's because we started and I didn't want it to get longer <laughs> right there. But, um. Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah did high school. graduate high school and the, um, not the best part, but one of the best parts about that <clears throat> is Tammy yes. and Julian came into town, came into town and they surprised him. And he was, I like came downstairs, um, cause Tammy texted and was like, I'm here. So I went downstairs to make sure they were at the door and I was like, shh, shh, shh. And so I went to the kitchen. I said, Isaiah, did you order food? Because there's Postmates out there. And he was like, no, I didn't order food. I was like, well, somebody ordered something. I need you to go get it. And so he was like, first of all, let me back up. Let me actually back up. So I, it's, he graduated on Wednesday. Y'all know I get my hair done on Wednesday. So I'm at the salon, and he's texting me, hey, can I go to my friend's house? We want to take pictures before the graduation. Oh. And I'm just like, why do you always think that this is what you should be doing? <laughs> no, son, you can't do that. Like, no, yeah. he was trying to do it for prom. I was like, why Why would you not think I want to take I said, yeah. no, just no. No, sir. And so he's like, um, yeah, but they're going to have professional pictures, and I just want to be, uh, 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 no. He's like, but well, can we do our pictures first, and then I go over there? No. no. And so he's like, um, I don't understand. I said, I need you to let me be your mom right now. Aww. And the answer is no, let's get off the phone. And so he's. Yeah, he's at the age where like friends that like, he's act like Kevin that way. Kev was very much like, let me go to Anthony's house. Let me go to yeah. like he was very much that person. And Isaiah, is, he's just very social that way. Be driving me crazy. Anyway, so I'm like, no, you can't. So I come down. That's I come downstairs. And I'm like, Isaiah, somebody ordered Postmates. You need to go grab it. And you could tell he was pissed because he was sitting at the piano. He's, he's sick like of you today. Like she's doing a lot right now. Like she was just at the door. She left the door and now she's telling me and I just told her I didn't order Postmates. I'm so confused why this woman is like having me do all this stuff. <laughs> so I'm standing in Kev's office with my phone like this and he's even more like, girl, you're being a weirdo and like low key, I don't want to be here. He opens the door. He's like, oh, mother, you surprised Aww. me. Totally worth it. So sweet. Totally worth it. Just totally worth it. So we good. sat up in that boy's graduation hot oh it was so hot hot it was very hot in there oh my god they had not, not a lick of ac it was so doggone hot i felt like my tears couldn't come out because <laughs> i sweated them all out then joe i have to post it i have to think about posting it but i was like smiling like this because i was trying not to cry yeah. trying to hold it back and joe said um mother isaiah just graduated he's gonna move out your face how do you feel about that <laughs> very joe i said shut up joe shut up so anyway, he is so exciting. A high school graduate. We took them. We were supposed to go to ABFF. Let me tell you something. I know everybody can't do this, but I am going to tell you, we did do it and I have no regrets. We were supposed to go to ABFF oh. this weekend for work. And uh, the weather in Florida was telling us not to come. Uh -huh. Okay. For the people that went, God bless you. But me, me and Kev was scared. Oh. <laughs> and Nina. Me, Kev, and Nina were all on the text thread like, yes, see the weather? She didn't go? No. We oh. were literally, I don't know if I tell the business like that. Oh, amen. But we were like, well, I can't because it actually was the weather. Yeah. So we're like, you see the weather? Yeah, you see the weather? And so I sent a text, uh, a screenshot because my, um, you know how you get alerts? Yeah. And it was like the governor of whatever um, put the um, state on lockdown, mm. uh, state of emergency. So I screenshot. I sent it to a text thread with some eyes. 
And Kev was like, I don't want to go. Nina was like, me either. No, no. I, that's terrible, though. We were like, we don't want to get stuck. stuck. You know, like we had other things to do. 100%. We didn't want to get stuck. Nina had other obligations. So it was like, I can't afford to, to get, get here to and get, not Yeah, to leave. get in Florida and not be able to get home. Plus, the boys were at home. Like, it was a lot. So anyway, uh, we all decided not to go yeah okay we emailed the lady we're so sorry and she was super accommodated yeah. she was like i get it like the weather's bad whatever and so me and kev were like you want to go to vegas <laughs> so perfect so we went to vegas um like the day or day tammy and them left the day after isaiah's graduation the next day something like that we went to virtual reality oh, nice. freaking amazing time we did uh, the adele concert uh -huh. which was such a good time and we did Oh, we went to the WNBA game. game. This is the last thing I'm going to say about that, and then we can move on to uh, Pop the Trunk. It's, you still want to do those? Oh, okay. you don't want to? Okay, we don't have to. The last thing I'm going to say about this, which is uh, we always talk about how networking is, like, super uncomfortable. Absolutely. And, and actually, me and Kev are actually really bad at it, partly because me and Kev don't be outside. Yeah. We very rarely, if we be outside, it's, we'd be like, Mel, Greg, y'all want to come? Because then we can all be together, and, and then we'll leave and go to dinner afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> like legit we don't really be outside like that like we very rarely for if you're like but y'all do you should imagine how many invites we get yeah yeah that we say no to yeah like we were supposed to go to um the biden thing yesterday oh yeah. didn't go because we were like we're gonna be in vegas instead we were supposed to go to a brunch ended up getting canceled didn't go we so many things come we were supposed to go to jackie Ina's crown not crown we weren't not supposed to go we were invited is what i should say invited to jackie Ina's crown royal by forever mood uh -huh. thing we got the invite for that we'd be like mm -mm, we're gonna stay home or we'd be out of town or whatever yeah so for that we missed it because we were in vegas so anyway all of that to say it was a very roundabout way of saying my favorite thing about Kev. And I was like, oh, Kev doesn't network. He just becomes fan of people. Oh. And he's a fan out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so oh, when good. Kev is actually genuinely into something, he doesn't like, hey, at, you know, um, I'm not a lawyer, but I watch your video and <laughs> da, 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 da. He doesn't do that. He'll no. just be like, I watched this girl's video. Yeah. It was so hilarious. And now I'm into her content. And he'll just talk about it yeah. naturally as a fan. And so then people are like, Kev, I know you were a fan. I love yeah. you. I love your content. Da, yeah, da, da. Yeah. And then it just becomes a connection. Yeah. So you all know with everything that's been happening in the last couple of years with the WNBA and Kev is very much, uh, um, he just likes knowing. He just, Kev knows a little about a lot yeah, yeah. of things. He just very much is very aware of everything. So he's been staying up with the WNBA, of course. Kev also being the person that he has deep dives deep into stuff. Mm -hmm. So he becomes a fan of the WNBA. He becomes a fan of these players. Child, next thing I know, the girl is like, her girlfriend is like, y'all going to be at the game? I can get y'all tickets. Oh. I'm sorry, what? She didn't have the tickets we wanted because Kev was like, I want to sit courtside. Yeah, like, this yeah. opportunity. So we ended up sitting courtside. We didn't know. Listen, you guys, we're still new to this, okay? <laughs> people be like, y'all got money. No, no, no. We just, people be nice to us. During halftime, uh -huh. the people on the, on the, on the sideline. Uh-huh. They have a separate room, and there's food back there, oh. and it's like catering. <laughs> we were sitting there starving. Oh, and so she texts us. Why and are you was whispering? Because like, I feel like it's a secret. <laughs> I feel like it's a secret. So she texts us. She said, "Oh, y'all must not know because everybody left and y'all were still there." Yeah. We we're like, "No, we didn't know." Girl, what's happening? We just bought tickets and we're sitting here. I don't know what to tell you. She was like, "Well, during the next break, follow me." Yeah. We went back there and said, "Ooh, y'all got nachos. Y'all got y'all fancy back here." They had nachos, hot dogs, Shirley Temples. Oh, you know that's your kids' drink. Oh, <laughs> candy, alcoholic beverages. Oh, there was um charcuterie. 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 Yeah. We was back there grubbing. We were so hungry. That's it hilarious. was amazing. We got to take pictures. They called Kev. The guy, Ke Kev. Okay, this is the last thing I'm going to say for real. <laughs> Kev is like, Melissa, I think they're going to call when we're getting dressed. He's like, I think they're going to call me oh. on like the celebrity yeah. cam or whatever. And so I was like, they're not going to call you. <laughs> But You're I'm like, not on Star Lab, yeah, okay. I'm like, they're not going to call you, like, relax. But I'm like, let me not play myself. Let me put some makeup on. Because <laughs> if we do end up being just on the, in just case. in case, because, you know, 
y'all see Miss Kev on stage, but y'all be seeing Melissa a lot of times too. And <laughs> she don't, I don't take this makeup off. I don't even want to do my hair. I want to take the thing off and go live my life. That's it. So the guy comes, he says, um, are you Kev on stage? Okay, we're going to do it in the house no. and we're going to call you. Kev was like, I told you, no. I told you. He was so excited. So it's very awkward. So the guy comes in the house, Kev on stage. And Kev is just like, <laughs> hi, hi, Kevin Fredericks, a.k.a. Kev on stage. Nice to meet you all. And they stay there for like, you know, the time that's just passed. This is awkward. Yeah, yeah. Are you not done? Yeah. And I'm just smiling like, <laughs> We're here. We're all here. Celebrity here. <laughs> That's us. But we were, ex we were just not prepared for any of. They took pictures. It was great. Across from us it was LeBron James, literally in Savannah. In Savannah, literally. I, when I say across, I don't mean like. No, me I and saw Mel. it. I was like, you better bring up the we're, fact that LeBron. We were on this side and Savannah. The the court is here, but they were literally over there. Did y'all wave at them? No. So this is the thing. Oh, he talks Lord. like this the whole time. LeBron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he don't want you to read his lips. But I said, because they announced it over the thing, Kev on stage is here. I said, Kev, he knows who you are. Absolutely. He can't not. Number one, the Spring Hill thing with I Churchy. Would, yes. I say, even if he doesn't, he has to know Kev on stage. If stage. you don't know Churchy, Churchy is uh, on BET. Yes. And in production with, with Spring, Spring Hill, Hill, which is LeBron James's company. Production company. So I'm like... And then I probably am just making this part up, but I'm finna say it. Savannah had did looked at me. Oh, I'm sure. So I was like, didn't y'all see him? Her and he saw her in the airport before. Yes. And didn't she speak? Yeah, it did. She. I don't think she. It was a very much like. Yeah, I, I know think you. I, yeah. They know. So all I'm saying is. She probably watched it in Juice. Hey, Savannah. We're probably like three degrees of separation hey, from like getting the Christmas Call cards us. in the mail. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if by Christmas they're like, Merry Christmas from the James family. <laughs> yes. See what the on stages are doing today. Maybe they want to come over. Yeah, I'll totally be there. We like, got boys. They got boys. It'll be great. So anyway, that was our like little. The, by the way, if you have a WNBA team in your city, the games oh. are freaking electric yeah so we remember we were like big fans of the be, WWE yeah, when yeah. it first first launched uh rebecca robo was there oh nice yes yeah, or lobo i don't remember. i know who you're talking about i don't yeah, know the All basketball right. old school one um she was there it was great we had truly 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 it was a good time oh my god we had a lot it was a really great weekend and that was just a highlight it was really a lot of fun so, all right, that's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. That's I it, that's know. all. We will be back. I thought about this. We'll see if it happens. Asking Kate to put some best of moments oh, together. Yeah. And maybe we'll drop them during the, during the time. So we'll see. Um, but otherwise, if we don't, if that doesn't happen, we'll see y'all the week of August 5th. Have a great summer. Enjoy Indeed. Your, enjoy your Juneteenth. Absolutely. Bye. Bye.